Hey guys, it's Redemption 9 and welcome back to Until Dawn. Last episode was the prologue where we met all the characters and then let Hannah and Beth die. But I think that was scripted so I didn't actually let them die because there was no choice to save either of them. It was just like either let go or drop Hannah. So yeah, that was scripted. But yeah, today we're going to continue on with the story in Until Dawn and let's resume. Chapter 1 Friendship 10 Hours Until Dawn Blackwood Pines. Ah, oh, the machete man's back. Uh oh. That's not good. Blackwood Pines. Who is this? Is this Ashley? Or. Oh, it's Sam. Hannah's best friend. Diligent, considerate, adventurous. Nice. Okay, continue. Hello? Someone there? Hello, someone's watching though. Sam, path to cable car station, 2102, okay. So does she have like, oh. Sam, character traits, she is honest, charitable, she's not really funny, she's brave, romantic, curious, she's not really them two either. Her relationships with everyone is pretty average. She's not really friends with Jess or Mike. But, okay, I guess that will change. Got no clues, but if I affect any of business, rats with bushy tails, so would... The result of chaos. Can I expect these? No, I can't. Probably because I haven't unlocked them yet, but you know. In time we will. Right then, um right, where are we going? Cable car. Let's go to Tura. When you can use right stick to move the camera. This camera? Well it doesn't move that much. Oh, a gate and some lights. Or are they just shiny things? They might be shiny things. They might be collectibles. User eyes did to look around objects that glint can be expected. Okay. Thought we learned this last episode. The gates busted. Climb over, what? Chris. <sighs> Damn it. What's that? From Josh Washington, sent 28th December 2014. To Chris, RE directions. Vancouver, Central. Okay. As drive stop at Blackwoods Pines, otherwise, he won't from Chris. Yo, how do I get there again? So, the top one is Josh's reply. Okay. Cool. Okay. So, the gate's busted. I can't open it. Jesus, never nope. Mind. Right, I gotta climb the wall. So, what's her thing? Is she brave? She's brave. Okay, she's brave. Climb up. Safe or quick? She's brave, so quick. That's how I'm gonna play these characters. Oh. Uh. PlayStation controls. Uh, jump. These quick time events, I don't know the controls, so these are difficult. I wish they were a bit longer. But yeah, she made it over. We did it the brave way. So did her brave go up? No, it didn't. Okay, I thought it would. Uh, right. This is uh, a weird path. Don't they have like a car park for the gate or what's that? Aww. When the don't move yeah, icon is displayed on screen, keep the wireless controller as still as possible. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Nailed it. It doesn't really help that it vibrates. So you gotta be so still. If you are unsure what to do next, you can see your current objective pressing R1. 
Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. These tutorials, man. This is a weird path. Oh, look, birds. What's this thing here? What is this a statue or something? Looks like a totem. It's one of these totem pole things. Oh, what's this? <laughs> cool. Death. Okay, okay. We already know about this, so. Don't we? We already know. Oh, there's a yellow one. So what does yellow mean? Yellow means... I already know about it, but I'm... Yellow is... Guidance. So yellow is guidance. So this is a guidance totem. Picking up a totem and turn it will reveal colored butterfly and premonition of a possible future. Okay, let me pick it up. There we go. So it's guidance. What? What was that? New. Yeah, new. So who's that guy? No idea. It's a bird though. So it's a guidance, so don't hit the bird. Whatever happens there? It looks like snowballs on the table. Maybe someone gets in a snowball fight and... We have an option to hit a bird? I don't know. Events of the past. There's no point doing that because there's not enough of it. The future is uncertain. Whether or not the prophecy comes true depends on your choices. Okay. It depends on my choices. To view your total collection. Okay, yeah. I keep going to the screen. Oh my god, just look at that. That looks like a picture. It's like that Tomb Raider episode where I say, look at that view. No, most games these days are just like breathtakingly beautiful. What's this? The past is beyond our control. The past is beyond our control. It's graffitied on a sign. So, is this the, is the uh, house like a visitor centre? It looks like one, judging by the map. So yeah, the past is beyond our control. Apparently. What's this? Chris, you here? Mount. Mount something. Tramway. Mount Maddie. I don't know. Oh look, bag. Glowy bag. Bags here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Hello. What do we have here? No, you don't go in other people's things. Clothes bag, snoop. Clothes bag. We're not going to be that guy, my girl, who snoops, and we got a butterfly effect. Nice. A butterfly effect appears when your actions have changed the game. Chris has a crush on Ashley, method methodical, protective and humorous. Okay. Butterfly oh, effect so updated. I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on. It's this way. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. So because we didn't go in his bag, he's happy. Okay. And it butterfly affected. Honest went up. And Chris went up. Okay. But charitable, funny, brave and romantic have gone down a bit by the looks of it. How's that fair? Oh look, we got a thing. Any of your business. Sam respected Chris's privacy and Chris was happy to see Sam. Okay. Cool. What's this glowy thing on the wall? What's this? Wanted oh, poster. Uh, oh, Victor Milgram, male, 62, Blackwood Pines. Like Last seen in 1998. Arson. It's various death threats. July 1998. That's a long time ago. 
collect clues to solve the mysteries of Until Dawn and I was reading that. Thank you very much. I was reading that. What's this? What you found, Chris? What's this? Ta-da! Ta-da what? Rad, right? Shooting range. Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. Chris, I'm now Chris. Okay. All right. Here goes. It's 2111. Time is passing. Oh no, is it first person shoot? Oh no, it's not. <laughs> Boom. Nailed it. So, this makes me think there's going to be some shooting later on in the game. If this is here teaching me how to shoot. Wow, nice shooting tits. Alright. I'm bad. I'm a badass. Oh, you're so I'm funny. Go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. Chris is just so funny. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Oh, a squirrel. Squirrel. Do oh look, icons. It's a red squirrel. I'm not gonna shoot the squirrel. It's mean. Why would I want to do that? <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> Butterfly hey, effect. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Yeah, dude, the cable car. Butterfly effect. So if I shot that squirrel, the future would have been more fucked up. Okay. So what's Chris's things? Uh, he is honest a bit, charitable, funny. He's not very brave. He's a bit romantic and a bit curious, along with charitable and funny. Relationship. Oh my god, it is all over the place. So he is good friends, well, average friends with Ashley, Josh, and Sam. He doesn't really like Jess or Matt, and he's not really keen on Mike or Emily. Okay. Rats with bushy tails. Choose Chris choose not to shoot the squirrel. Nature remained in balance. Okay. Nice. Oh, what's that? What's that? Wanted poster. Uh, found lower cable car station. Someone wanted poster about a fugitive on the mountain day in 1998. Someone didn't want people to see this. So. If I find one of 30 found, jeez. So if I find a collectible with one person, does it count as all or not? Oh god. Can I pick it up again? I can. Man, it is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. You go fast. Oh, that snow sound, though. Who doesn't love that snow sound? Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. So he has the key. Why does he have the key? Oh, I suppose he is like Josh's best friend. Oh, so, you know. Is everyone else here already? There's like eight of us in there. Really hard on Josh. I, oh, what's I now? Know. What's this? There's glowy things. Oh. Blackwood Pines Hotel. Is a hotel? For a healthy body and healthy mind. Sanatorium. Okay. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. Family bought a mountain. They're not so rich, they only bought a fucking mountain. Fuck off. If you can buy a mountain, you're pretty rich. What is that? It's a CCTV camera on a bath and the cable car station. Guess we gotta wait. 
I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time. And what else is there? How long is this going to take? Nothing. Big mountain. Anything else? Nope. Camera angle, though. You gonna publish? What? You're a pretty poem. The Sleeping Giant of Blackwood Forest. Oh, shut up. Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but. Okay. This guy, man, is bare hella. I'm just like going to the prom. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So, I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her train bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Oh, the butterfly effect. We know about that already. We've learnt about it. These graphics, though, look at that snow. It's amazing. Oh, who's that? Jess. Mike's new girlfriend. Confident, trusting, irrelevant. Not irrelevant. Irrelevant. Whatever. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Jessica, up the cable car station. Time to meet and so, does she have like her special. Yeah, she does. So, she's pretty honest, funny, brave, romantic. She's not very charitable or curious. Her relationship with Emily is shit. Chris, Ashley, and Sam is okay. Josh is better, Matt is better, and Mike is the highest there. Probably because she is his boyfriend, girlfriend. Yeah. Got any more clues? No. The twins. 20 clues for them. 1952. 27 clues for that. Mystery man. 30 clues for that. And there's what? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 totems to find. No, 6. 6 each. Okay. Right, so where do we go for her? It's angle. What sort of angle? What the hell? Jess! Hey! Jessica! Over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Nah. Let's just not do it. I have to do it. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! Butterfly effect. My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Uh, insist or explain? 
Uh, just explain. Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Oh. So was she there last year? All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired Stay of this up there. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam. <gasps> Did you see this view? No, it's look I'm at this view. Holy cow! Get it right. Sometimes I forget it. All in. Where are we go now? They built the lodge, like, Emily. Right where the cable car ends. Mike's ex. Intelligent, resourceful, persuasive. Okay. Who's he guy with her? Like Matt. Pretty. Emily's new boyfriend. Motivated, ambitious, active. Okay. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Matt, Washington Lodge Grounds, 2124. Nice. So she can't carry her own bags. We're almost there. No, I, mean, I have to carry them for her. Oh. What a bitch. Yeah. It's going to be weird seeing everyone up here again. No, I'm going to thank you. not going to feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh, look, it's Mike. Emily's ex. Intelligent, driven, persuasive. Okay. <laughs> you guys. Michael. You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. Well, yeah, sure. The woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? <laughs> just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Threaten. Ah, oh, too much drama. Welcome. We're all friends here. Michael. I'm just gonna lay it out. Otherwise, this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward. And we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on. Okay? Nah. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back on the trip. All right. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. See ya. Status update. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? Say the please. Bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Agree. Persist. I'm not leaving you alone. Uh, she wants to go to Mike. Uh, fuck it. Go. Just go, bitch. All right. Fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yay. She could have said please before we agreed, you know. Said all we get is a thank you. Could have got two then. Who's this? this new one? Oh. Ashley. Has a crush on Chris. But doesn't he have a crush on Sam? No. He has a crush on Ashley. So they're meant for each other. Okay. Academic. Inquisitive. Forth forthright. Okay. Washington Lodge Grounds 2132. Oh, I guarantee something's going to pop out on this. What am I looking for? What am, what am I looking for? What's that? Who's that? There's Jess. Is that someone with her? 
No, it's just branch. All right, what's this? It's down here. Oh. Oh, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly, and not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. They don't look like they're doing anything; just arguing. I was supposed to do that. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Bastard. Hey, whoa. <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, what? Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, wow. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it. Let me oh. check it out. Miss Lee, it's busted. Encourage. Um. Well, we're not sure what's going on, so yeah, we're not gonna tell him. Yeah, it's kind of busted. It's not. It's not like really interesting. It's just. What? Really? We're gonna be a good friend. I, I could find like a cool bear chowing down on a fox or something. Agree. Mm, no. No. Uh, no, really, Matt. It's not worth straining your eyes. I'm getting kind of a headache just from looking through it. So just no. No. All right. Uh, sure. If you say so. Saved it. Butterfly effect. Oh, am I Ashley? No. Can't move. It's just cutscene. Status update. Who's this now? Jessica. Okay, she's still waiting there. Read book or check phone? Uh, read. Got no notifications on your phone, so it's all good. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. For who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Uh, bench. Go to the bench. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Whoa. Thing. Crap. Quick top events, man. Gotta try harder than that, hero. <laughs> oh, is this where we can hear that bird? Where are you hiding? Better not do that then. Whoa, whoa. Boom. Oh, ah. oh Hey! Oh snap! We're so good at this. Oh, there's a the bird. <laughs> Hello. Come on. <laughs> Uh, uh, boom. Hey, Mike. Boom shot. Head shot. Oh, you got me. <laughs> there it is. Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. You can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. Uh, I'm not going to hit the bird. I'm going to do nothing. That's the right thing to do. This is a boom. Whoa! Ow. That's right. Find you just. And then what? Oh, it's no more. Oh, oh yeah. Oh more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> gotcha. It's done. Done. City. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right. All right. My my. So are we calling it my favor then? You're a worthy opponent, Miss Jessica, the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Yeah, uh, grab Snowball. Ah! I win. Bitch. Oh, ho, ho. okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. Oh, this is Dick. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. She well, wants to do. I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Is she not going to get a phone? That she left on the bench? Or a book? Is that someone else in the cable car? There is. There's someone else in there. Is that the guy with the machete? 
Oh, it's this guy again. Hello again. Hey, hey, dude. How you doing? And how are we feeling? Good. Good. I'm good. Seems we hardly scratched the surface in our last session, so let's go a little bit deeper this time. Okay. This time. We're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Anxiety? Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Okay. Men worry me, women worry me. I've got a glove. Neva? Neither worry me. But, ah, oh, let's play as the glove. Who is the glove? Well, who is the guy in the hat and the glove? Scared of. Uh, let's just say he is worried about... Fuck knows. I don't know. Neither. Why would either worry her? Uh, uh, men. Just good men. Okay. I'll do that. No, nope, other way. There we go. Uh, crowd scare me, plane scare me. I mean, both are equally dangerous. If you get in a plane, there's a 50% chance you'll die. And if you go in a crowd, there's a 50% chance you'll get stabbed or something. Uh, but but the hat, though. The, the hat and the glove. He is scared of planes. I fear heights, I fear drowning. I mean, both are equally bad. Um, the hat and the glove is scared of drowning. What's next? Snakes scare me, rats scare me. I mean, both are. No. Uh, snakes are more dangerous. And the glove does not like snakes. Taking notes. Guns are scary, knives are scary. Knives are scary because it's uh, more painful. And it's slower than a gun. I fear cockroaches, I fear snakes. Uh, snakes? Still more dangerous, you know. Okay, just keep looking at him. Clowns scare me. I fear scarecrows. Uh, clown is hiding someone's face. So let's go clown. A scarecrow has just made a straw. Gore disgusts me. Crows are scary. Gore doesn't disgust me. I've played a lot of zombie games. And I've watched a lot of horror films. Uh, so the glove is scared of... Oh... Neither are scary, to be honest. They don't disgust me. Oh, God. Me, personally, neither. But for the hat and glove, gore. No. No. Crows? Yeah, crows. Oh. No. Nope. You didn't. Says, you didn't start me, mate. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Mate, you didn't scare me. I don't know what you're on about. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Okay, so I'm timed. Okay. Um, snakes. Needles? I fear needles, crows. Yeah, let's go crows again. Keep looking at this guy. Clowns. Again, face behind the mask. Crows again. Crows again. It keeps coming up with crows. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> Snakes, clowns, and crows. 
but some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> uh, oh, oh. Well, I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time, but that was barely five minutes. We'll talk again very soon. Very soon. Is that it? So, crows, snakes, and clowns. I wonder what they're gonna do. Previously, I didn't talk about. Oh, nice. So, is this chapter thing? Yes, chapter thing. We'll pause it there. Oh, got status. Uh, what was it? What is it? I should say. Oh, any of your business. Uh, Sam respected Chris's privacy. Chris was happy to see Sam. I'm doing that game. I'm doing that. Oh, it's either way. Chris was happy to see Sam, and Chris continued to trust Sam. And that's it for now. What's the other one? Rats with bushy tails. Can't do anything there. The soul of discretion. Ashley discouraged Matt from using the telescope. Matt didn't see uh, Mike and Emily flirting. Were they flirting? It, it looked more like they were arguing, to be honest with you. Back. Back. Uh, so yeah, that is it for chapter one of Until Dawn. Next episode, we'll continue on with the story and do chapter two. But for now, that's it for this episode, and I'll see you next time. Bye.